The video you are about to watch is the class lecture for this English 8 assignment. Treat it as you would any lecture by paying attention, following directions, and taking notes. But this is better than a lecture. You can pause the video to catch up with notes, review something that you missed, or refer to other files on your computer. Remember that you are accountable for all material in this video. Today's lecture focuses on formatting the paper for the speech analysis report. Remember that following a standard format in creating a file, uh, and especially when you print a file or produce it um, physically for submission to a teacher or an employer, um, formatting in a standard format will help the reader follow your ideas clearly. And it should be simple to follow format instructions, especially if you have a model example to guide your format decisions. Let's take a look at formatting this one. First, we can look at the model example that I have here. And you'll see that the model example indicates what the speech is, what the speaker is, what the date is. And if this were not a model example, it would say name and probably class period. Remember to keep those headings bold, but keep the information in them not bold. This will differentiate headings from information. Same goes for all of the subsections. The heading introduction is bold, biography bold, but of course the text underneath is not bold. Each section. Conclusion, work cited. So remember the difference between bold and not bold type. Bold type is used for section headings and not bold type is used for what you are writing. So double check that before you submit your final draft. Next, remember to double space the document. But when you're double spacing the document, you only need to double space your writing. So you can see that my information at the top is not double spaced, but all of the information in the sections is double spaced. If you're unsure about how to double space, remember that your double space command is contained up here in the toolbar. Pull down to the 2.0, but you should make sure to select all of the material that you want to double space. So if I have written it in single space, I can simply double space by going to 2.0. The next formatting consideration is to check the model example to make sure that you are doing everything correctly. This should be fairly simple. However, students often make mistakes in creative and unpredictable ways. And if you are unsure about whether your document is formatted properly, then you should check exactly what it looks like on the model example. Yours should look identical with the exception of the name blank and of course the content. But if you see that yours is a different font, a different spacing, the heading and italics are all different, margins are different and spacing is different, then you are making some kind of mistake and you should make sure to format yours according to what this model example looks like. Remember that appealing to the model example will help you make sure that your paper is excellent.